I wanted to be here for this. What is this? Oh, it's Uncle George's lucky coin. What's its significance? Well, he'd flip it whenever he gave me advice. Maybe someone's telling you to get serious about investing. <sighs> so what are you going to do with the money he left? That's what my accountant's supposed to tell me. Well, I can tell you what Uncle George would advise, but you have to decide. I have. And? Come on, lad. I think Uncle George would want me to invest for the future. Keep going. He'd want me to put it where it would bring some dividends now and down the road, too. Don't stop now. So far, so good. He'd want me to pay off the mortgage, put some away for the kids' education, and have enough in retirement to live on for as long as we both should live. Love may be blind, but it's not deaf. Matthew, you don't have to share your money. Jenny, a real partnership shares everything. You're on your own, boy. Will you marry me? He's trying to drive me crazy! Oh, it's absolute rubbish. What else could I do? She's not living in the real world. Someone has to pay our bills. Mate, right, she only lost the baby this morning. Well, it started a long time before this morning. She'd been having dreams again. Dreams? Yeah, about lights in the sky, aliens. The, the last time this Mr. happened... Mr. James, your wife alleges that you're trying to drive her crazy to get hold of her money. If Megan has another breakdown, it could take her months to recover. We rely on her income from her investments. Well, you got an income, haven't you? Oh, yeah, I'm a casual sports reporter for a country newspaper. How much do you reckon that brings in? I have no idea. Megan's wasn't the only career in tatters. Unfortunately, I couldn't sue anyone for wrongful dismissal. You sound a bit resentful of that, Mr Davies. Mr James? What happened to you, Warren? Everyone thought you'd go into politics. Yeah, everyone, including me, but this alien business came along and the safe seat I'd been promised evaporated. No one from the party wanted to know me anymore. Well, it must have been hard to take. Well, yes and no. Looking after Megan was a full-time job, but she was successful in a court action against the newspaper company, so money wasn't a problem. You must have been a bit resentful of the fact that you got all the money, though. The point being? The point being, did you abduct the baby? You're accusing me of that? No, I'm asking you, sir. Oh, this is insane. I don't have to put did up with this. Did you take her baby, Mr James? There yes is or no? no baby. It's all a product of Megan's imagination. We'd been trying to have a child for years. We did all the tests. It was Megan who couldn't, well, she blamed the alien experiments. So why didn't you tell us this before? Because the power of delusion is fantastic. When she started wearing that contraption, well, I went along with it. I thought she'd snap out of it, but then the baby was born, and I didn't want to see her humiliated again. I wanted to protect her. I love her. You bastard. This is all your fault. Oh, Ow! Ow! You left him a brick. I should rip your throat out. Get away. How the hell is this helping? You're thumping the wrong blake, you little turd. If you wanted to have a go, you should be decking the blake that's knocking off your missus. Rachel, will you shut your bloody mouth? Now you shut your mouth. I'm not going down a line on this one. What do you mean? You can't talk to me like that. I'm the managing director. What do you mean, Nigel? I'm not going down a line on this one, buddy. I should never have trusted you. Felicity told me you were bad news. Well, what she knows you could write on the back of a postage stamp. Oh, did she warn you about anyone else? Maybe about playing pilots and hosties with a certain executive's wife? Nigel, what did you mean about Sally? Oh, God, man, do I have to spell it out to you? Devlin is screwing your wife! Piece of shit! shit. And use this to wipe it up. And that sponge, th that's your evidence? Well, once it gets back from the lab, it's all I need. Well, even if you find traces of drugs, anyone could have done it. Perhaps you'd care to explain this. Yes, we found them in your uh, bathroom cabinet. And uh, 
They're prescribed to you. Well, I'm sure they're prescribed to me. Megan started taking them when she was having these weird dreams. I mean, I didn't make them. It's got nothing Mate, to do with you me. you did it. I know it and you know it. So why don't you just tell us where the baby is and we'll let the magistrate know that you cooperated. All right. If you have the evidence, arrest me. Otherwise, I want to go. your next mate oh, there's other fish to fry yeah <laughs> it's a good life for me from now on fellas <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, uh, i've been thinking about you a lot lately oh, oh you have mm -hmm. i've been missing you i've been missing you i've been missing you i've been missing you what matthew what happened you had an accident on the way to the church you've been unconscious sweetheart the kids? They're fine. They're with your brother, remember? I was dreaming and you didn't want to marry me. Not likely. You left me at the altar. So you still want me? I do. You may now kiss the bride. This is my favorite part. You know, we really owe all this to Uncle George. You know, we really owe all this to your Uncle George. He was a wise, old guy. <laughs> Pretty much stuff, Warren. Now, the girl that uh, Karen roped into this, she gave us these. Now, you took these from the house when you kidnapped young Bromwell, didn't you? All right, I took the baby. But you still can't stick me with an attempted murder charge. Is that what you reckon, Warren? Tell me, mate, what do you know about lighting? Oh, what sort of question's that? You rented a set of lights from St David's last week, didn't you? I had a photo shoot for the newspaper. And the Gazette will confirm that. Will they, Warren? Will they confirm that, mate? These were disco lights, weren't they? The sort of thing you used to put on a show. Now, if you were stupid enough and doped up enough, you know what they might look like? They might even look like a visitation from outer space. Add that to the wettest we found in the sink, the tranquilizers in your cabinet, Warren. Just doesn't look good. And there's Megan's evidence. Now, I just cannot understand how you could do that to the woman you love, mate. Woman, I what a joke. Look, have you any idea what it was like having right, to go tell us, what was cap it like? in hand every time I needed a new article of clothing? What was it like? Everything I took was mine anyway. Everything what? The baby belonged to me. You and Megan. Well, that's where you're wrong. Megan set the whole thing up. Everything had to be as close to natural as possible. The baby had to be conceived normally. She absolutely insisted on it. What are you saying, it. Warren? Get on with it. Megan is not the baby's mother. Karen is. Well, there's got to be a, an easier way to explain this than bending over and letting the entire industry shaft us. Or more to the point, shaft Nigel Blake. I'm not going to let this bastard do that. Have to play the man, don't you? You are so keen to shaft me that you'd sacrifice this company to do it. Well, I'm not Robinson Crusoe. If I'm going down, I'm not going down alone. You haven't heard a single word I said, have you? What? 